Hello and welcome to Non Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your NXT review. Guys, so we're going to do show. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. And don't forget that tonight I will also be live. Six o'clock tonight, British summer time, I will be live on here on YouTube. Answering your questions that you've sent over. I'll be doing a little watch along for a match that I'm going to be announcing soon. Um, and then we'll just kind of be, I'll be going through questions and then we'll be talking wrestling pretty much. We're just going to chat everything about wrestling. <laughs> anyway guys, let's get into today's show and the reason why you're here. So Austin Theory versus Lockrin opened up the show. I'm giving this a three stars. I thought this was a really, it seemed chaotic, seemed all over the place, but not overbooked. A really good opener to the show. And that's all we could really ask for at this point. And then we got... A bunch of kind of cool segments that were okay. The early night Grimes and Million Dollar Man kind of stuff. I'm loving it at the moment. Um, so we're moving on. We've got like, Swerve versus so Isaiah, Isaiah Scott versus Killian Dane. Isaiah Scott obviously got the win here. Two stars in this one. Do you know, it wasn't the best. It wasn't given enough time to work. I think it, a little bit more time. These guys could have done a little bit better. But um, yeah, still good. Two stars. Then we got Mercedes Martinez versus just a jobber. Martinez obviously got the win in that. It was 15 seconds. So we've got a bunch of segments here again. All were really good. Nothing to really write home about. The one from the night that really stood out for me was the Poppy and in India Hartwell because of like that whole love triangle cuddle thing that was happening. I thought it was really fun, but um, yeah. Then we got so the Grizzled Young Veterans versus. August Grey and Gyro. Grizzly Young Veterans got the win here. Two stars. Short and straight to the point. It gave the Grizzly Young Veterans a win where it had to be done. Um, just a win that he needed. And that's all we can really ask for from it. Then we've got Candice Ray. She's coming out to the ring. Poppy ends up coming out. She's from Lil Ray saying she's sick of hearing Poppy. Blah, blah, blah. India ends up coming out. and Then we get the comeback of Ayo Shirai which was cool I'm happy she's came back and I'm hoping we're going to be getting something in that women's division in NXT that just feels very over, all over the place at the minute it doesn't seem like it's got a direction it just seem, feels quite all over the place and I'm hoping we're going to be getting something there so we've got Dakota Kai versus Amber Moon Amber Moon got the win by DQ I'm not a big fan of giving the, the DQ win here but I guess it kind of works for the aftermath when Raquel and Moon have a little kind of back and forth and Moon ends up standing over Raquel. Overall, I'm going to give this a 2.5 stars. And then um, the ending between Cross, Cole, Gargano, Dunn and O'Reilly was great. Honestly, it was a fantastic ending to the show. That segment saved the show for me personally. The whole show was strong, but this segment made the show a little bit better for me. Um, I'm still not a big fan of this this match coming up at In Your House I feel it's just been very lazily booked I feel In Your House has been very lazily booked but this was a, a good segment overall guys 2.5 stars for the show nothing really special a good show nothing really to go out your way well do you know the Irish or I stuff and there was in the ending segment there was a lot of stuff that was happening but I feel that In Your House just hasn't been hyped up as much as what it could have I really feel I'm not that much hyped for in your house. I don't really. I'm not going out my way to be like, oh, I can't wait to watch this and stuff like that. It just feels like it's a show that's going to be on. That's kind of going to be there. Like it's, I, it's a weird, a weird one. I just feel like they've rushed it together. And coming from NXT, who's normally really good at getting the kind of takeovers and stuff, feeling good. This one just kind of felt a little bit subpar, to, in my opinion, to be honest with you guys. Um, but I okay show I hope you enjoyed today's show guys don't forget to hit like subscribe and that wee notification bell honestly all your support it's brilliant watching the channel grow um, I just love watching it grow I love people interacting in the comments and being on the show and Twitter and stuff like that as well so uh, yeah it's really fun I want to thank you all for it the 50th episode special of the NWC show is tonight Friday my 51st episode goes out and I think Monday or Tuesday will be my 52nd. I just need to make sure schedules work. But um, yeah, we're pushing right on to that 100. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And thanks for your time. Um, thanks for supporting the show. And I'll see you tonight at that live. Bring along some questions you want to ask. I've got a bunch already sent over that people want me to uh, answer. So you send over any question more that you have. See you later, guys.